So I need to get to it on my computer. Okay. All right. Um, but you can go ahead. I'm going to catch you. All right. Yeah, essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it under my profile, and then I will just transfer it over to you, to your account. Mm -hmm. I'll create a new website. Through and select a template. So I'm going to go with the agency reverse, but we'll be able to select any template that you might want. If you decide you want to change it up later, you can always come back and they always add new templates every month. So there's always a chance that something new will come up that you'll like better. Um, but I'm just going to go with this one just to start with. So I don't see anything else that's just as good. After I pull up the template, it'll open up the builder for the website. So this is the actual site. So inside of each site are pages. So you have two basic part, two parts to it. I'll kind of go back. So these are all of the different websites that I have. And then inside of editing that site, I can edit all of the pages of that site. We're going to be working on your first page here and you can add as many pages as you want. So if you want like an about page, a contact us page, scheduling page, you know, a booking page, you can add as many pages as you want. Go into editing this first page. Uh, I like this particular template um, because it has a little video space. So it gives you a video that kind of explains what you guys are doing. Um, so I'll capture, um, let's see. Okay, um, if you would take this video, you can download it. Um, I would suggest probably using uh, YouTube if you have this on YouTube or not. But then you can load that video into, the, into this website. So it already has a space for it. It's already documented for YouTube. So once you upload your video to YouTube, you just come to the settings and you just put in the video link for that video and it'll take that space. Okay. Um, I have it. Okay. Yeah. If you can, uh, yeah, just send it to me on Facebook or, or in the Zoom chat, either one. You put it in, just hit tab, and the video is updated. Very pretty, very user friendly to change the video. And then, if you want to put it over the top of that image and just resize it, not to have it. Change the layer to advanced. So, I'll move it to the top, move this to the bottom. 
going down. Should work. I'll keep switching back to how I You wanted to do something like that, you can. I mean, not truly necessary, but I mean, it's, you can see how you can design it several mm -hmm. different ways. Yeah. And this can be taken out. You can edit these images as well. Go to edit it. If you just want to change the image, it's all in the general settings. So you can change it to whatever image you want. Um, the system does have a bunch of base images as well. They have a lot of different uh, abstract art images. You can use it for, they have a lot of these are used for backgrounds. So if you want to pick a different background or something of that nature, they have a lot of different um, stock images that you can use as well. Um, there's some with people in them, you know, a couple of different things. But yeah, you can upload anything that you want as well um, just by selecting the file. You can upload it. So say if you wanted your logo in there, I'll just take this really quick. Do that on the files. Upload it. that logo and now I can put the logo in there. And then just to resize it, you just click on the outer arrows and you can resize that. Just double click to go into any of the text box boxes and you can adjust and change whatever text that you want. You just click on it to move it around. Move it however you want. And there's a center element as well. So if you want to center it on the center something on the page, it's just one click. It's just this center. How would button. I add objects to the page? Yes. Is it is that just a left click? I mean, sorry, is that a right click add picture or something like um, that? Everything, yeah, everything's actually over here on the right hand side on this little arrow, it's all done by elements. So if you want to add another text box, you want to add button. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of different things that you can add. Add contact forms. Um, it all has everything. If you want to add another image, you can just click on image. If you want it to be horizontal, vertical, shadowed, but then you just grab it and drag it onto the page. And then you edit that. It's add and then element. You select whatever element that you want it. You want. So if you want to add it, add a different button or another button, you click on button, and it'll give you a few different options. And then you just drag it onto your page. Well, if you want it to be a different color, you want it to say something different. I like say here. I'll get rid of that one since we already have one on here. I'll say subscribe. Uh, we'll just say to our mail list. Um, okay. For that for now. And then they'll have email, first name, or you can change it, you know, whatever you want to change the form to. So, so speaking of. Mm -hmm. Right. So speaking of, I have a mailbox. How do I access that if it's a mailbox for this what you know that goes with this domain domain. Uh, so there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. So uh, who is your domain with currently? Name. What what which uh, email domain are you using? Uh, 
Namecheap. Namecheap, okay. So yeah, Namecheap, so there's a couple of different things that you can do. So when you connect with Builderall, you, if you connect your domain to it, you can build what's called professional emails. And you can build an email address inside Builderall. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Or you could have whatever is done from your access list forward to your email based on the, the email campaign. So this is a particular email campaign. I can have all the notifications and anything sent to an, ex, an external email. It just depends on how you program that email campaign. Okay, I think my question was unclear. So I bought the domain name, right? Mm -hmm. Then this would be building the website and hosting the website, right? Yes. Okay, so then I also bought, it comes with an email. Mm -hmm. Right. How do I get to that email from here? That, that from email is going to be however your host provides it. That email is separate from Builderall. It depends on how they are okay. providing that email to you. This does not come with hosting or it does? It does come with hosting. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. how do I, do I have to go on Builderall to find that out? No, no. If you have purchased from your domain an email system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then that email would be with that domain provider. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's separate from this system. Oh, okay. 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 Go ahead. No. I just asked about it because you were showing me about the email. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes, this is, this is a, an email capture system. So this captures information. You can get an ear, you can get an email address from Builderall to use as well. Okay. You can have it all included in, in this system. But if you already have one from a different domain, that's going to be separate because they control that email. There, unless you forward it, there isn't really a way to get the emails into Builderall. Because they're okay. hosted. Does, emails. does the package like I purchased go ahead? Oh, I'm sorry. Does the package I purchased come with an email or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what you purchased does have email. So you can create an email on your Builderall account. But the email that you already have is separate, you know, just like if you have like a Gmail or Yahoo email address, it's already created somewhere else. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when I bought the name on Namecheap, mm -hmm. I bought an email on Namecheap. You okay. see what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm saying, I'm saying that will stay with Namecheap. Okay, this so is, what I'm saying is I don't need that if this already comes with one. Correct. Okay. All right, go ahead. So here we've got the logo on there. Let me size this down. I'll actually take this out. Yeah, anything else you want to size and then from there you want to add on to the page you can add an additional panel you can add blank panels it has other templates in here as well if you wanted to add anything I would say probably the most common is going to be a, a pricing template. Let me see. I know they have it in here. So there's a couple of different pricing templates They come with different colors and you can modify any of the colors and backgrounds or anything that you want to change. So um, these are usually the most common next pieces that are added on. So you can put in the last 
one or whatever your packages are and their prices and a little description of what it actually is. And then this button would link to your end sales page, which you can build in here as well. We can build that fully for you as well. And we just have to set up the pricing pages. Those would be separate pages that we'd set up and we'd link these buttons to those checkout pages. So we'd come into this button and we'd set a link. And this would be to a super checkout page, which we build your products in. And then that would go directly to that checkout page so that they could purchase any one of your, you know, your programs. Okay. Continue to add more panels as the print as as needed and duplicate panels. So if you want to duplicate this, just click on this double box and it'll clone that. And so we can, you know, we we can keep the same backgrounds, color schemes and all of that. So if I want to do that again, and say I want to make set and like these colors for this pricing template. So then I can take these out. I can clone this and take that out and put it on the new page. I'm sorry, how did you change the colors? I, I just added the same same panel. I, I copied oh, oh, okay, okay. How do you change the colors? Now, if you want to change the colors, you just edit it. So then in the edit of the panel, you can change the uh, background settings. So this is just an image. So this one's actually an image rather than colors. So if I want to oh, take okay. the image out, then I can select any colors that I want. Okay. I can change it to whatever colors I want. And then if I wanted another image, like if I had a different image that I wanted, yeah. how could I? Oh, change image. Okay, I see. Yes. Okay. Um, when I add a page, is it, it has page templates? Yes. So I'll show you that here. So let's save this page for now, just so you have the default there. So some of the stuff that we put on there. So there's a couple of ways that you can add a page. It's in two places. So you can come here at the top here. If you want to stay working in the same builder, you can add a page here. And it'll add a new page. You have to name it, give it a name and a title. And then you can add it and you can select if you want to copy one of your existing pages, you can copy it here. If you like, say you, you build your main, your base website and you like the colors and everything, you just want to modify it. Like say you're adding mm -hmm. a contact page, you can come in and select that same page and it'll build that template. So if I want, if you want that particular template, or you can select one of Builderall's templates. So if you're copying off of the, a page you already have built, you can use your own page, or you can select the Builderall template. And they have all of the different templates that you can go through um, if you want to do that. So this one, this is the, if you already know kind of what you want, you can use that one for a quick page ad. I usually only use that if I'm duplicating one of my pages because then I already know the setup and how it looks. Mm -hmm. The other place that you can add it is inside of the site. There's create new page. Comes up with the same thing, but then you have it to where you're not waiting for all of that to load. So you have another site section that you can do the same thing in. So you're not stuck okay. on that other page. So this is inside of your, your actual page. And then you can save that. Then I can save that. And now I have page two. And then I can go into editing that page. You know, this is if you had a completely separate template that you were looking at or something that was completely separate. So now this is page two. It's a completely different layout. With this thing. Okay. Yeah, those are the two places that you can add more pages. 
let both do the same thing. Okay. So this page. Let's get you a um, couple other things, elements that you'll likely want. Probably a menu element. Um, the menu element will be similar to what's at the, you'll see at like the top of most pages. Oh, let me move this down. But they'll have a menu element. So then you could have like a contact us, you could have submenus, services, you know, depending on what you want, how you want it built. But generally an about us, pretty much every website uses some type of menu. Uh, how do you add buttons to that? Yes, yeah. And um, so if you click on that and you edit it, we'll configure the items. So this little settings when icon, and mm -hmm. then you can add. add oh, okay. So if you wanted, you know, products, add that, and that will add it to it. And then you can add sub menus if you need to. If you add sub menu. Add a sub menu. And those sub menus. Right. Say that. There's the sub menu for that. You got sub menu for projects. So services can that, you know, depending on what you want to want to add to it. Okay. And then this and then all of the settings are on this side if you want to change the, the alignment for the menu uh, change the colors of it color of it background if you want to change the border you can add a border to it you can dot lines or anything however you want to kind of set it settings on it. And there's different little effects that you can add to add if you want to add some kind of shadowing. Um, if you want to do different things with your images. It also there also are effects that happen on images as too. If you want to have you know it kind of move. You can, oh, you mean like as you drag over it or something? Yeah, yeah, you can do it as you drag over it. So you can do it based on a time when you hover over it. If you hover over the oh. image, it'll do it. So there's all kinds of different little animations that you can choose from, depending on, on what you want, want it to do. You have to, you know, kind of fade out. <laughs> depending on on what you want it to do. There's all kinds of different images. Okay. And then you can Sounds have great. it do it once or you can have it continue to do it with infinite checkbox. Kind of depends on what you want there. Those are some more of the advanced kind of features and things that you can add on to make your site you know really pop and you know just those are all kinds of things that just depend on if you want that or not. Well, I'm looks like I'm going to be the one spending a lot of time on it. So okay. I need to know all the options. Yes, there's tons of different options. The other thing that you have here is the knowledge base. So at any time you want to look up something in particular, there is a knowledge base in here and there's a chat support too that will help. I mean, you always have me, you can ask any questions up to um, I use the system. I use probably about probably about 70% of all the tools. I haven't used every single piece on here because there are a ton of different options, but I can generally help you figure something out. I'm pretty good with the system. Okay. Like, how can I make it do this or how can I get this to work? I can help you out there as well. Right. Well, if the interface, I mean, from what you're showing me, the user interface looks pretty, you know. Yeah, it's very user friendly. User -friendly. friendly. Yeah, it's very user friendly. It's a couple of clicks. You know, and most of it's just moving things around. 
move something around, you know, edit it. You, know, you click on edit element and then it pops over in the right size and you can change the size and then you can change the settings. You know, if you want it to start at a particular time, you want it to play in a loop, you want it to autoplay, you know, anything that you want to do, you want to put a Oh no, I don't want that. I hate websites like that. Where you click on it and just start playing a video. Oh my god. Yeah. You can't, yeah. Even, so, you yeah, can't even sneak I, I and look at stuff at work yeah. and start playing video. I don't like that. Yeah. Um, I always leave autoplay <laughs> off. I usually always leave the loop on because you know if it if it starts, you know, and they you know some people walk away, then the video stops and they don't watch it anymore. So right, I usually, right, right. It'll play on. Loop. Yeah. I always leave autoplay off. And then you can choose whether to display the controls or not. Um, I would usually use that only on if it's of a short video. Um, if it's something that it's fairly long, then you might want to display the controls so somebody can pause it and go back and forth. But if it's a quick one minute, two minute teaser video, um, like this one, you can you can select to not display the controls. And then once they click, click play, that's, it's just play and pause. That's all they'll have. Right, right, right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, well, it looks pretty straightforward. I'm kind of one of those, let me just try to do it and then, you know. Definitely. Um, I well, was thinking most you of my would... clients usually are. Um, they'll come yeah. in, I show them a couple of key points, show them where things are, where this is, where that is, and then they pretty much go from there and build their design. They pick their colors because you're gonna, you have the better knowledge and vision of how you want it to look than I How do. it needs to look, right, right, right. Yeah. I feel you. So, but if you need any help with functionality, I'll definitely help you with that. Like, hey, I can't get this to email right, or this, I click on this button and it doesn't go to the right page. I can help you with stuff like that, definitely. Okay, let me ask you this and then I'm gonna I'm cut you loose. Um, if you had to choose a common problem, like something common that is an issue for many people, but then it just takes this little thing to fix it, what would be something like that? I wouldn't say it's so much of a common, it's not really so much of an issue, it's, it's just more of what you have to set up and that's the email forms. So this is connected to what's called mailing boss, which is something that's included in your account and goes with the emails. It's something that takes a little bit of time to set up, which is mailing boss, because this form that it is here, this is based off a setup of an of a email list in mailing boss. So you have to kind of set that up before you can really program this box. So for example, I have other lists that are already set up. So if I go and set this to a different email list that I already have configured, so say I'll go with this list, it will change that box based on that list. So this now captures name, first name, last name, email, and phone number. And it has a different destination that it goes to based off of this list. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing with that is um, mailing boss is something that you have to set up prior to using this particular element. And because that's, that's, when a person, if a person comes to the website and populate that, it's going to go to some list there that you have to have already connected. Correct. It to. Yes. Okay. And it's going to have a different set of, it's going to have them getting emails, automated emails that you might not have configured properly. So if it has a welcome email, depending on the template that you use, it's already going to have a base because it's built in Latin, the coding. So the emails, like I'll see if I can find, um, yeah, see like this here. So this text is in Latin. So the, some, if you don't set the mailing boss campaign, they'll get an email in Latin. It's like this text and they'll be like, hey, you emailed. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't read that. Now I'm looking on the phone. Is it is it not like regular words? No, yeah. It's uh let me see if I can make it. You mean like the dead language Latin? Is that what you yeah. mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So like this. Oh, oh okay, yeah. okay, I see that. Yeah, so they'll get an email. Oh, so you're saying language. the templates are in Latin. Okay. Yes. All right, okay. So yeah, that's the only thing that's kind of common. People set Why up. Why is that the case? Okay, just the way that it's programmed. Uh, but yes, people will set up, a, a, you know, they'll want the email list, but they don't configure the email list first. And then they're like, hey, somebody got a weird email from my mailing boss. And it's all in a different language. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's set up by default, you have to go and program that before you go live. 
Okay. Uh, so mailing boss is a little bit e pretty easy to program. Um, once you get into mailing boss, you just create a list and then you can select, you name it. Then next, and then you'll select which for what you want to capture. So it's always got to have an email, but you can do first name, last name. Um, you can do a checkbox if you want something else set up. You can do a phone number. You, you know, you can do a radio button if you want to have like something that you're voting on. There's a couple of different ways you can set up, but these are all the fields that you can set up. And then once you build those fields, so like if I want a radio button, I can set up a couple of buttons. Say, you know. Oh, that's setting up a whole now. new set, new thing just for the emails. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. You can build all of this up. So this option, you know, book Wednesday. You know, if you wanted to do that. And then it'll have all these different. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with the mailing boss, but basically that's the most common thing is you have to set that up before you use it on your website. And before you to, use the email yeah, sign up box. box. Yeah. So you can do, so if you go to the elements, there, there is email, there is contact forms. These are basic ones that will just email you. You can add, like this one is a basic one, and this one just sends, this one you can set directly on the page, and it'll just email this information to you. So when they click the button, it will send this to wherever you want it to go to. So if you just want to say, hey, send, send an email, you know, contact us, and then you want to reply to them later, you can do a simple email send. Mailing boss is more of if you wanted to set up like a newsletter or, or a, an ongoing email campaign. How, uh, how, what's, how did that original one come up? The one that's connected to mailing boss that just it's came up? It's part of up? the template. It's part of the oh, template. Oh, okay, okay. That's why okay, I said okay. that because it's part of the template, it already has some defaults in it. How do I know the difference? Is that color code? Is that uh, color Once you pattern? click on it, it'll say mailing boss form. And if you click on it. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. okay. I see it now. It's kind I of small there, but yeah, it'll say. I wasn't looking for it before, but I saw it after you said it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you click edit, oh, wow. Uh, it'll show up here. It'll say that it's a mailing boss form when you click on edit. And the other one was where? The other the one other... is a different element. They're both elements. Oh, 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 it's in that elements tab. Okay. Yeah, so okay. one's a contact form, and then mailing boss is an email marketing form. So they're pretty similar. It's just they function a little bit differently. Okay. Yeah. And then if you wanted multiple pictures, there's galleries. You know, instead of just a single image, you can do a gallery and have a bunch of images together. So a lot of people use that if they if they want to showcase, um, you know, about the company, usually their executives or owners, they do a gallery and have four or five pictures of, of those people in. <laughs> we don't have two pictures. We don't need, we're going to use images. We are right. <laughs> yeah, you probably want to use the gallery. <laughs> we'll be good um, yeah, with the singer with the video. video. We'll wanted, be all right. <laughs> yeah, if you want to add, you know, a second yeah. video, um, you can, or if you had it on a different type of provider, it works with four different providers right now. YouTube, Vimeo, Wista, and Videlo. Uh, I mostly use. Nah, we barely got a YouTube. We still trying to get yeah. that to go. But yeah, it's the same same process as this as this one. You just put in the link. The other ones are just they're just geared towards those type of links. So it just recognizes the link to pull the video information. Right. Okay. okay. Other than that, uh, everything's there. Social media bars. So you have all of that. So if you want to tag in your social media buttons, you can add that on, put that, drag that wherever you want it on your page. And then just click on that and you edit those. And then you'll put in the, the uh, links to them. So this one will be your Facebook link, your Twitter link, your Instagram link, your LinkedIn link if you want to use that or you can remove it. If you just want to delete that, you can delete that piece out. Yeah. Okay.
pretty, pretty, pretty easy to use. Yeah, once you get in there and start doing it, it, it becomes easier and easier. Um, I'll get you added to the, I can get you added to the Facebook group if you want. Uh, they have a lot of uh, trainings in there. Usually every Tuesday they do a training on different things, on okay. new, new features. Um, but yeah, the knowledge base is pretty good too, as well as like, you know, uh, if you have any questions on the email addresses, if you just type in email, it'll pop up with a whole video and description of how you set up your email. So how to send and receive with your professional emails. And if you want to send it to a Gmail or if you want to forward to a different email address. So it has, it has all of those in here as well. So you just type on it, whatever you need to know, and then it'll usually pop up with a video or a description of how you set that up. And then there's all kinds of different topics here. You know, if you want to do different videos, if you want to do different things here. So everything under Cheetah, how to get started, how to build a sales funnel, how to build different animated elements. So this is what I was talking about, those kind of element, uh, those kind of, you know, options that you can do. So you can click on any of those and, and follow in the knowledge base too. So you have that as well. And they have a ton of different videos. There's usually about five, 10 minutes and it'll show you. Okay. So, so yeah, there's plenty of support with this system. Plus you've got my help as well. Yeah, and I'll be here. So, Big time. Coming to you yeah. first, but you know, I'm trying to get this to do this. <laughs> uh, okay, awesome. Thanks so much. I'm okay. going to get cracking on this first thing in the morning. All right, sounds good. And yeah, we'll these. see how I can do. Okay, so you have to give it to me now, right? Yes, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'll show you this because then if you have something that you get stuck on, then you can send me a copy. I can work on it and send it back to you. So I'll go and grab, you should be in my list too. Should already have your email listed. Yeah, here it is. All right. So what you do um, is you go to the builder, you go to the home inside of builder. And so mm -hmm. this here, and then I'll go, then you click on the three dots and transfer. You click on transfer, you just put on email address, duplicate and transfer. And then it'll make a copy and it sends it right over to your account. And so the same thing, if you need me to help you on working on something, say, hey, I'm trying to figure this out. Or, you know, can you help me do this really quick? I can't figure it out. You know, since I've used the system for a while, I could probably do it, you know, in a couple of minutes, you know, versus you trying to take, you know, if you're really stuck on something, don't try to spend hours, you know, trying to get, you know, a couple days, of Cam, days. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't want you spending date like, hey, I can't figure this out. Yeah, just send hey, it over to me. Yeah, my whole life will be ruined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I can't figure this out. Can you just do it? Can you fix this piece for me? Just send it, send me the copy. You'll be like, oh, Brittany, turn your computer on. That's the problem. No, yeah. That's is it plugged in? <laughs> yeah, is it plugged in? <laughs> um, okay, great. This has been wonderful. I have a whole new six months of work to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm here to help. You know, to, yeah, so definitely let me know if you need any further assistance. Uh, but I think you'll be great with it. And once you get in there, start clicking around. Um, the only other thing I would say also is to save your site often. There isn't an, an undo feature. So save your site when you're, when you're working on it. Save it. Mm -hmm. And then if you say you, you start messing with something, save it before you do any changes. And then if you mess oh, up, oh, you say you can't undo if you yes, mess something you can't up. Undo once you save it, it's stuck like that. So, and if you don't save it, then it's deleted. So that's the only. This other is thing. the kind of information that I need. Okay. Yes, <laughs> yeah, definitely need to know. Okay, that. so save if it's save how that. I want it, but I'm about to change like one thing. Yes, I would but save it. Yeah, if you and don't I save. save like if you yeah. forget to save, it doesn't auto save. It's no auto. No, save. it does not auto save. Okay. All right. Click save. Um, so make sure you're saving. And then I would, what I would, what I normally do when I'm about to change something, because you can't just undo it, you have to go and like delete everything. What I'll do if I'm about to make a bunch of changes, I'll go to it and I'll start doing some of the changes. And if it's something that I don't like, I'll just refresh because it's not auto save. So then it'll take me back to what I was already at. Like, oh, I added this. I don't like that. I, instead of deleting five things. It'll take you back to your last thing if you yeah. just refresh. 
Okay, that was my other question. So when I'm working on it, like how you were doing it, am I on it? Yes, you're on it. It's it's so not. If, let's it's, just say, for example, if another person is on it. No, no. They it, don't it see what I'm saying. So um, here, I'll show you really quick. When you save, it pops up and it asks you, do you want to publish? Publish is when it goes out to the internet. So let me go back into here. So once I click save, it will pop up and it says, do you want to publish? And that's, that's when it'll go to the internet. You can say not now, I don't want to send it to the internet or yes, that's fine. And it'll send that out to the internet. Okay. Um, and then it'll pop up okay. in the bio domain. But yeah. So like here, like if I didn't want it, like to say if I was working on it and I, you know, started changing this and something got messed up with it and now this is over here and now I can't find it or see it and I don't want to look for it to, to change that back. I can just re, or if I deleted this and I really didn't mean to, if I just refresh, since I didn't save, it'll all go back to the last save. Oh, to however it was pre, yeah. okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you're if, if you're about to do a bunch of changes and you're not sure how it's gonna look just yet, but if you finally if you get something, say you put something, say you put this here, and you're like, okay, I like how that looks, then Perfect. save hit save the immediately. Okay. And you can say not now to publish it, but then go on to your next piece. Save often. Like save often. I hear yeah, you. Save uh, once you finish, you know, a section, save that and then go on to the next section you don't want to get to a point where it's like oh that doesn't look good or i don't like how that works and i gotta lose yeah. everything yeah yeah okay yeah. all right i feel ready all right everybody feel ready before they start right <laughs> yeah <laughs> but no i think i think you'll do good i think you'll do good i i mean this is the best system i've seen it's very user friendly I mean, I've had, I've had. I'm giving myself a lot of time. I'm giving going. myself until I'm giving myself a lot of time, so I don't feel rushed. I'm giving um, myself until next year, so it's not like. Oh yeah, you know. that's that's perfect. Yeah, you got plenty of time to tweak it and make changes, and then you can always yeah, yeah. Things, you know, throughout going into the year. So. Right. Okay, because that that's what I'm saying. Because we also build in a YouTube at the same time, and we also, uh, you know what I mean? Like it's like. Yeah. You got a lot I of. I was just gonna content. try to get somebody to do this. Just have somebody to do, and then we also like are in the process of tutoring. Like I go tutor every day, so it's like, oh, yeah. So it's like I gotta go do all of that. Then when I get here, I'm trying to listen to you. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. My eyes barely open. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's okay, why I do okay. a lot of recordings. You know, so you can go back, watch it. You know, you can skip through, jump to. You're like, oh, I remember when he did this during the video. And you can right, skip right, to that right. part. Okay, okay. All right. Good, good, good. Yeah, get me, get that to me. Get that to yeah, me. I'll get you the YouTube. All right, but goes this up. has been great. You're the best. I'm sure we'll talk again. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Although you're a wonderful teacher. <laughs> I might not be the best student yet. So, yeah. <laughs> so right. this is great. I'm going to get cracking on this probably tomorrow. All right. Yeah. That'll save me. Understand. This will save me from the YouTube. I know I'm so tired of doing the YouTube. <laughs> but anyway you know this yeah, will be i've got, a least, uh, I've got over 100 videos on youtube yeah a welcome district on youtube yeah you have a youtube channel yes oh my god everybody has a youtube channel. we can't get one video up like that <laughs> yeah, my uh, youtube channel let me see how many I have. send me that send me that i'll send you my channel you can see that it's like video. everybody's it's like doing it. Now. We can't get like one channel. We we keep what video what video editing software do you use? Because that's that was the reason. So at first we was trying to use DaVinci Resolve because we thought we was really fancy. But DaVinci Resolve <laughs> is really hard, is really hard to learn. So we could yeah. never like we would shoot all of this stuff and then try to put it in DaVinci Resolve and then we couldn't figure out how to do that. So it just get put on the back burner to the next day. You know what I mean? Like oh, next wow. day, next day, next day. So now we just got this real basic one shot. That's what we're using now. We hope that that's regular. What do you use? I'm Editing. using exactly what we're doing right now. I use Zoom to make all of my videos. Get the jack out of town. Yeah. So this Everybody recording got right now, but us. the same recording that we're on you right do now. You editing? Yeah. Hmm? How do you do editing in Zoom? I don't edit from, from here. You can edit in YouTube. My, my videos are all live. 
a live unscripted. Oh, live unscripted. okay. All right. Okay. We can't do that. We we be yeah. messing up. We can't do that. We gotta <laughs> cut the pace. <laughs> there are, there are, um, you we gotta cut our stuff out. Video. We can't be doing yeah. it live like that. Yeah. I mean, we can do some stuff live, but um, yeah, yeah. Not, not at first. Um, in YouTube, because I haven't needed their editor. Um, I used to have Movie Maker on my old PC, and that's why I used to edit my videos. Um, Windows Movie Maker. Um, mm -hmm. I've used that before. Um, but uh, you can edit videos um, inside of YouTube. Um, you can also do them inside of Builderall too. There is a video studio. Um, I know they have. Uh, where is it? I think it's Video Wrapper. Now I think they got rid of that editor. I think they only have the photo editor now. It's all good. Don't spend your time on that. We 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 are mentally committed to one shot now. After we've okay. been after we failed so miserably at DaVinci Resolve, we are now committed to one shot. That's oh, where nice. we are as a as a company. And so, <laughs> and so uh, we all we all about one shot now. But but anyway, just all that to say, it ain't one thing, something else. But I but I hope that this is this seems like it's gonna be we gonna get this. Yeah, on the they, first yeah, go, first go around, January yeah, first, twenty twenty one. You gonna get a shout out at the bottom of our website. Look for that. Appreciate January. it. January, it'll be the greatest achievement of your life, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will know about it. <laughs> Very exclusive award. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to help. <laughs> All right, awesome, awesome. Okay, well, you've been great, and uh, thank you. Yes, definitely. Looking forward. We're to on our way. Have a good night. Where, I don't know where you are. Arizona, somewhere far. Arizona. Oh, okay. Yikes! Is it hot? hot. Always, always hot. Yikes! Ugh. I like it hot. God bless you. God bless you. Stay cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Kim. Bye.